Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do those little jobs around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today, I'm going to be answering some questions that I've gotten down in my comments and also some of my emails that I've gotten. Some of the questions are similar, so I'm just going to narrow it down to this one here for today. When I'm in a room and I'm painting it, and when I've taken down the light fixture, so now there's no room, there's no light in the room, and all the furniture's gone, all the lamps are out because they would tip over, what do I use to illuminate the room? How do I get enough light in there so I can actually paint? And, and see stuff, whether it's daytime or, or in the evening. I could have gone with the halogen bulbs, the halogen lamps, which have those, those square lights uh, with the very, very bright and they get really hot lights on a tripod, but you're always turning them to make sure that your, your light is one way or another. Um, they get extraordinarily hot. Uh, the tripods are a little bit on the flimsy side, so I don't really care for that. I want something a little bit sturdier. I also could have gone with a rope light. Um, you see contractors in big buildings that they're building, they have like an extension cord with multiple lights coming down. Where am I going to put that? So I ended up building one. And it's just a basic, real easy to do. And let me show you how to do it. This is the one that I built first. This is my prototype. This is the one I've used for now for about 10 years. And I've only changed one thing on it since I've used it since I've built it. I'm going to go through the wood first, which this is on. This is a 1x6, and it's 18 inches long. You can see I centered the lights on top of there. I split the, I split the, uh, uh, the piece in half. You can see I put a draw line down here, and I centered the light from that point there and there, and then I mounted them. These uh, lights, at one time, you could get this kind of a cage with the glass, but now they come with, with LED lights already in them, and they're far more expensive. Originally, I got these for about $15 a piece, and now because they have the LEDs built into them, uh, the, you really can't buy them. I, I haven't really looked hard enough for them, but I didn't want to mail order something when I, when I could have bought it over at Lowe's or Home, De or Home Depot or someplace like that. Um, but now they're, they, they're going for almost $80 a piece. So here... This is just your standard 2x4, and it's cut at 4 feet tall. Then down at the bottom, at one time I was using planking, but that used to cup, so I took that off, and now I've installed a 3 quarter inch plywood. It's 12 inches this way, 24 inches this way. I centered a handle on it, equal weight on top and on bottom, so when you pick it up, it doesn't teeter back and forth. It's centered on there. Installed it, an extension cord using just regular code hooks on top and on the bottom. I wired it in with 14-2 wire, just your standard household stuff. And at the end of the 14-2 wire, I put on a three-prong plug that I could hook my extension cord onto. So now I can unravel the extension cord and put it anywhere within the distance of the extension cord. And this one here is a 75-foot plugs into the wall real nice. I can stand it someplace. It's not going anywhere. It's pretty, it's pretty stable. Up on top here, how I wired it in was I've got the two lights and I got two switches. One switch for one side, one switch for the other side, or I can snap them both on at the same time. Because of the way that this is shaped, I don't have to move it. I can centralize this light right in the middle of the room and I don't have to switch it around. I don't have to take it and rotate it like I would have to with the halogen bulbs. So this is kind of a, a, a nice platform type of a deal. Then I decided I needed a couple of more because I was getting more paint jobs and the rooms are getting bigger. So I went to this model. I didn't want to buy the tops like this anymore because they were getting too expensive. So I went with the exterior, um, exterior fixtures, the kind you would put under your eaves. The only thing that's missing is that globe that protects it from the rain. So I wired it, wired it exactly the same way. I've got one light here, one light here, or I can put them both on at the same time. And 
the, the, the light fixture looks just a little bit different, or the uh, switch looks a little different. Uh, but this time I've got a 50 foot cords on them. Code hooks, code hooks, same thing, 14 2 wire, coming down to the uh, three prong plug. And again, I like the base from the other one, so I use the same one here 12 inches this way, 24 inches this way, on a four foot 2 by 4 on a one by piece of wood. Now, what are these? Well, as this is wired in, this switch goes to one, uh, one of these lights. I have to drill a hole through here. So this, the, the 14 2 goes through the hole, and I just put this here just to cover it. Let me show you over on the, on the model that's on the, on the desk. And this way you get a better idea of how things look when it's on its side. All right, we got our uh, light over here on the operating table. And I want to show you the bottom of the of the of the light. I only put it in with put it together with two drywall screws, but on the other side what I had done before I did that, I put some good gorilla glue on the 2x4 and on the wood, on the on the ba on the base. Then I put it together, then I with the uh with the drywall screws. This is not coming apart. That Gorilla Glue is the glue that I use for nearly everything. This gives you a little bit closer look at how this, how the uh, code hook is put in. Just your standard code hook with two screws. These here are fence staples. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure because this is going to go into someone's home. It want, I need it to look good. So I traveled the the 14 2 wire down from the box, made it as flat as I could, put the fence staples in here so it looked nice. 14 2 wiring goes into the electric box, the lights for the light switches, and then it rides from here all the way into here. Remember, I told you I had to drill a hole under here so the wire's from here, so the wire goes in this box up through the hole and is wired to this box and I just wanted to cover it so it looked nice so you didn't see the hole that's all I wanted and then of course then it comes to this side here where you got your two your two lights and I did the same thing up here drywall screws here but before I did that I put some Gorilla Glue in here I just wanted to make sure that this thing was never going to fall apart the wood is the same it's uh, uh, one by one by six and I routed the edges a little bit to make them look uh, not so hacky looking I just wanted to make them look a little bit smoother make it look nicer I did the same thing on the bottom just routed the edge just a little bit here just to make it look smoother because when you take this into someone's home they're gonna look at it and say what is that thing I say well it's a center light so we can actually have some light in this room while while I'm painting and then they look at you, they look at the tools, they look how you're dressed, and they look at everything and they say, okay, we're gonna have a professional finish here. So that's really kind of nice. Now, when I wired this in, you're gonna, I know somebody's gonna ask me, what did I use for wiring? What did I do? How did I figure all of this out? How did I make sure that everything was to code? What I did was, I used two references. This one here is the Black & Decker Home Wiring uh, book that I've had for years and the inside it shows you all of the different things that you can use all all different kinds of wiring you can use well on this page here it shows me how to put things together I also use something that I've had for years it is the Reader's Digest complete uh, do-it-yourself manual and on this page it shows you exactly how to do the same kind of wiring so I just wanted to show you how I did my lighting, how I came up with, with how to wire it together, how the, the posts and the base and the top are actually constructed. Um, uh, if you want me to show you physically how I put it together, um, I can it, put it in a request. Um, put it down in the comments or email me. And please, please, please subscribe. Um, if you have any additional suggestions on what you would like a video on uh, or how I actually do things or have done stuff, please, please, please put it down in the comment section and I read all of them so let me know. And 
Thank you so humbly for your support. I'll see you on the next video.